WhatsApp duka huru, WhatsApp mwana duka huru. Your day starts as well unavoiweka. Uh, Smile. Feel kila kitu kinakuja within your reach. Feel kila kitu kinakuja vile unavotaka wewe and that's how you make your day to be productive. Karibu tena katika uh, video yetu nyingine kwenye YouTube channel yetu na kama bado uja subscribe kuna vitu vingi sana unakosa sisi tunakupa update ya vitu vingi kuhusu kutengeneza biashara kutengeneza mtazamo eh, kujenga brand yako kutoka chini kwenda juu and this is how you do it first subscribe gonga alama kengele alafu come back here tuanze kuongea video ya leo so imekuwa ni hoja ya watu wengi sana kuulizana maswali ni namna gani msanii hata wewe unajiuliza swali. Inawezekana ni msanii au wewe sio msanii lakini unajiuliza swali. Namna gani nyingine ambayo msanii anaweza kawa anatengeneza pesa kupitia mitandao ya kijamii? Let me nikupe tu ushahidi wa haraka haraka. Drake ndo msanii ambaye alikuwa analipwa hela nyingi sana. Uh, mwaka 2017 aliuza albamu yake katika mauzo ya hali ya juu sana. Na wasanii wa Ulaya na baadhi ya mataifa hapa Afrika wanalipwa pesa nyingi sana kupitia mitandao ya kijamii. Sasa swali ni namna gani na wewe kama msanii au mtu maarufu unaweza kutumia mitandao ya kijamii kutengeneza pesa right so leo nime breakdown baadhi ya vitu ambavyo nitakusaidia kujua ni namna gani na wewe unaweza kuwa unatengeneza pesa kupitia hii mitandao ya kijamii na ziko step 4 step ni 4 za kuweza kuzifuata ili uanze kutengeneza pesa katika mitandao ya kijamii right let's start to step number 1 now Wasanii mna kitu ambacho makampuni au taasisi au biashara nyingi sana hazina. Nye tayari jamii imeshakubali. Tayari nyinyi mmeshaonekana uh, ni pati ya jamii. Hmm? Chochote tunachokisema wanakielewa, ukifanya kitu wanakuelewa. Hauna haja kujitambulisha sana watu wengi wanakutambueni. Kwa hiyo tayari nyinyi mna kitu kinaitwa awareness, right? Ile awareness ndio mataifa mengi na makampuni mengi na watu wengi wanatafuta awareness. Sasa tayari kama msanii unakuwa tayari umeshajenga awareness yako. Mbili, wasanii kutokana na fan base yenu ilivyo mnakuwa tayari mmeshatengeneza kitu ambacho pia makampuni na brand nyingi zinahitaji. Uaminifu, trust. Na tayari kama msanii unakuwa umetengeneza trust na watu wako. Kwa hiyo hizi ni advantages ambazo unazo kama msanii au mtu maarufu. Kingine kulingana na fan base yako ina maana umeshatengeneza mapenzi na watu wako na hiyo pia ili watu wanunue bidhaa yote au wafuate kampuni yote au taasisi wanahitaji hivyo vitu wanataka watu wawajue wawaamini na wawapende nyinyi hivi vyote mnavyo sasa nini kilichobakia ili uweze kupata pesa katika mtandao tunakwenda kwenye step number one. step number one, unatakiwa uanze kwa uh, kutengeneza account ya mtandao tengeneza account yako ya mtandao Instagram Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, kokote kule. And mind you, wakati unaanzisha account mtandaoni, lazima uangalie ni platform gani ambayo naanza nkaanza nayo. Social media ziko nyingi, right? Kuna Instagram, kuna Twitter, eh, kuna Facebook, lakini usiende na zote. Always start na moja, kuwa hapo kwanza, alafu baadaye uta expand. So unaweza kupick, iwe ni Twitter, iwe ni YouTube, iwe ni Instagram, iwe ni Facebook. Anza kutengeneza account yako hapo alafu iboreshe slowly ikue kwa sababu ili uweze kufanya biashara unahitaji watu you, you need a community to do any business because kama unataka kuuza product if you want to sell a service if you want to sell anything if you want to do affiliate marketing if you want to do an influencing you need a community you need people behind you to do it now ukishafungua account mtandao ni haanza ku create your community hapa napozungumzia community nasema kuhusu followers. Tuna 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 tunajenga wafuasi kulingana na kile tulicho nacho sisi. Sasa wewe tayari ni msanii. So you sell your music, you sell your lifestyle, you sell your your diet, anything you can post to put on social media, go with it ili utengeneze wale wafuasi wako. Hiyo ni step number one. The more you create your, your, your followers, your community to be great ndo the more easier for you to do business and to get money with. I'll tell you why. The more number ya watu utakao kuwa nao ni watu ambao mfanya biashara yoyote, mtu yote, mwanasiasa, anybody anahitaji ya watu ili kuuza kitu anachokiuza yeye. Hiyo ni siasa, hiyo ni bidhaa, hiyo ni huduma au chochote. So the more you create a lot of followers, a lot of people, this is the best way to start earning from social media account. Okay? 
That is step number one. Now, let's jump right into step number two. Ambako, step number two, umesha tengeneza follows kubwa. Umesha tengeneza number kubwa ya followers wako. Kulingana na fanbase yako. Right? Now, step number two, wasani wanakwepaga sana ichi step. Lakini ni step nzuri sana, linasaidia kuanza kuelewa ni nini nitafanya au ni kitu gani nitaleta ili nianze kupata pesa. Hapa, you need to do audience research. Ni watu gani wame kufollow. Elewa kitu kimoja. Wanaweza kwa kufollow watu wengi, lakini wale watu wasiwe wanapenda vitu ambavu ni brands. Wanaweza kwa wame kufollow watu wengi, lakini wale watu wale kufollow, wakawa hawapendi mitoko. Wanaweza kwa wame kufollow watu wengi, lakini wale watu wale kufollow, hawapendi maswala ya vinyuaji. Vinyuaji vileo, eh, I mean alcohols. Eh. Kwa hiyo, lazima uwelewe ni watu gani wangu wame ni follow wengi, na namna gani naza nkafanya biyashara na hawa watu. Kuna namna nyingi za kufanya biashara na watu lakini before ujafanya nao biashara anza kuelewa audience gani mimi mimi ni follow. Hiyo ni step number two. Audience hilo ni follow. Ni kitu gani wanapendelea umri wao ni upi mwingi? Mm? Maisha yao wanaspendi vipi? Um, iv, wakoje? Hivyo ni vitu unabidi uanze kujiuliza wewe na kufanya research. Na the best way unaweza kufanya research, unaweza kufanya research kupitia content zako. Eh? Kwenye Facebook kuna temporary posts zile kama stories na kadhalika. Unaweza kushare stories. Kwenye Twitter unaweza kaka post za kujua tu watu wako. Unaweza kutengeneza content ya kutaka kujua watu wako ni wa namna gani, wa dini gani, wanapenda vitu gani, wanapenda pombe kiasi gani, wanapenda sigara kiasi gani ili ujue how to do business with your people. In Instagram wanzo li kuna Insta Stories, wanzo katengeneza temporary post kwenye Insta Story, ambazo zika kusaidia kuweza kutengeneza um, uh, iyo uh, research yako, kwamba unijua watu wangu ni watu gani, na kathalika, right? Now that is step number two. Let's go right in kwenye step number three. Step number three, baada ya kufanya research ya watu wako kawajua, step number three, wafanyi, wa, wasani na watu marufu wote mnakwepa yi step, lakini it's a very righteous step, kwa sababu yi step, ni stepu mpeke ambayo ina strengthen bondi kuwacha uh, ku, ku, na zile stepu zingine zote. Stepu peke ambayo inafanya unapata bondi na watu wako ni hii step number three ambayo inaitua engagement. Let me tell you something. Mimi ni social media na brand strategist. I know how is it to grow kwenye social media. Unawezo kakuku kwenye social media wakapata followers milioni kumi. Lakini wale followers milioni kumi unafanya nao nini? If you have anything to post to them, to say to them, make sure iko relatable na wao. If you don't post anything, watakuwa na wawani reason yote kukufollow. So they will leave you, ndo wanakuwa na follow. Now, kwenye kutengeneza engagement na watu wako, lazima uwelewe kuna, kuna, kuna aina za content za kushare, kuna aina post za kufanya, kuna futu kama bila. Lakini lazima utengeneza engagement nao. Tengeneza content ya mbazo relatable. It's a good thing, wasaniwa sasa hivi, mnatumiaga challenges. Mnatumia challenges eh, kutengeneza uh, engagement na watu enu. Mnaika video challenges enu za miziki. Mm, Mnaisa mka post labda kusu mitoko na kathalika. So that is the very important step kwa sababu unatengeneza bondi na wale followers wako. It's very very important take it from me. So ukisha tengeneza iyo bondi na watu wako kwa kuingage nao. Wame post content zao, wame post content zako, shiriki nao, waki comment na comment Hey, Waki share DM na wewe unaweza ka share. Waki post insta story kuhusu biashara yako na wewe you can share that. It's very very okay by the way. Alafu uh, like this wanaanza kutengeneza uh, trust na wewe inakuwa mara mbili zaidi. Hey, wanatengeneza bond na wewe inakuwa mara mbili zaidi. Wanatengeneza mapenzi na wewe inakuwa mara mbili zaidi. Though this is a best way to go and strengthen your love. And the last step, and not the least, the last step, baada ya kukua, mwisha tengeneza audience kubo, mwisha tengeneza rafiki nao, make sure the last step is reach out to com- companies. Eh? Fuata biashara. Set, set, andika marikampuni wata assist na zozitaka. Alafu, fuatile kampuni mwaja mwaja. Banabari, na ito aduka huru, mimi ni superstar flani, na imba mziki ya uni mtu marufu, na weza nikafikisha awe ya nesi ya kampuni enu uh, katika lepo hii. Na wanaje mna struggle sana katika mauzo, mna struggle sana katika uh, awareness, na omba ni watangeneze awareness na mna hii. Kisha, katika hizo kampuni kumi, au sabo atako zosufata, mbili amshua zita kujibo. So, ebu niambia kwenye comment step wipu, umefika na umekwama, alafu mimi, I will help you throughout. Leave me your comment, na usisa usubscribe, uchunaito duka huru. I hope to see you the next episode. Bye bye.